Yep, awesome. Joined now by Marcus Felito, one of the second period goal scorers for Rochester Americans, who trailed the Marlies 3-2. But a good second period for you guys there. You get back on the board. How important was your specialty teams in the second period there? Oh, no, they were huge. I think it was uh Toronto had the best penalty killing, I think, against us, and he, they, they've been huge in, in penalty killing situations, but uh, it's great to solve them. We solved them last game, too, and I think it's just our, our movement and our hunger against the pucks, and, uh, you know, hopefully uh, in the third period we get another crack at it. A tough goal at the end of the period for them, but how do you guys regroup going into the third period after that? Uh, you know, it's, it's obviously just a tough play at the end, really. I don't think our defense knew a guy was on him, and I think just bad communication, but uh, really can't hang our heads there. We, we, we came back, and, it, you know, it doesn't mean we can't come back again, so we just got to make sure that uh, we regroup here in the second intermission. Thanks, Chris Marcus. Thank you. That's Marcus Felino, the Rochester Americans. They trail the Toronto Marlies 3-2.